guys. What's up, Libra? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We're going to do a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. It's like there's been a wait or even maybe even a let go uh, around a situation that's it's still there. Like the energy is still there. Like things are up in the air. Not a lot of resolve. More so stress, worry. So like things are at a standstill. Alright, so Libra immediate future. You got the Four of Wands, which is a good luck card. The Justice card, that's your energy. And the Knight of Wands fire energy it's interesting because there could be something here that's like um a contract or a marriage like something that's long term that's stable uh that's kind of the essence around it there could even be like a, a, a marriage that's involved show me this four of wands please for libra uh oh uh oh We got the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, Ooh, and the Four of Swords. All right, well, this is taking time to heal. I mean, there there's a lot of security that's here with the Ten of Cups that's your emotional fulfillment. Just in both of these, there's a lot of, like, happiness and security energy. But with the Four of Swords, there's also, like, taking some time to rest, to heal. Things may have just also been kind of, you know, in a relaxing or recuperative type energy four of swords is your energy as well so show me this justice card please for libra oh wow you got the justice the devil and the world double capricorn energy but this is coming in as the obstacle right so with this energy the devil, this could be an ex, this could be a, you know, a toxic pa uh, pattern or behavior, it could be a, an addiction, whatever it is. With the world there, this is about setting boundaries, limits, and kind of like, um, it's like putting a, a limit on that devil energy. Like over time, we kind of, you know, realize and overcome and outgrow things that may have been held, holding us back or situations, people, anything like that. So with the devil in the world, that's about setting those boundaries and putting limits, you know, on what's in your highest interest. So when the four of swords is over there, that's that's healing from that, whether that's a person, an addiction or whatever it is to you. What is that devil? It could just be um, a Capricorn that you're dealing with. I did just see <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles. Anything on this devil? So it could have to do something with either money or um, Greed, possessiveness. Oh, this could go a couple of ways. You got the hangman, the five of swords, the five of cups. It does look like there's some re regret there. Karma has a lot of energy going on in here. Um, it does look like somebody's kind of kicking their ass, their self in the ass or something. So again, this, this can go in so many directions now with this here. And sometimes within self, um, we can self-sabotage procrastination or, you know, can can even be there as well um but there is a lot of, there was a lot of guilt and regret and embarrassment that's coming off that energy but you're setting boundaries now you're setting limits so somebody somebody could have even been um 
like within a relationship, like even abusive. Because you're healing over here with this four of swords. And the obstacle is something here could even have been causing like headaches and a lot of worry and self-doubt. So with the four of swords to so the five of swords. Now for the outcome, you have the knight of wands, the hermit, and the ten of swords. You're closing a chapter here. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But I think more so this is more of a personal introspection type reading. I think there are limits and boundaries that are being put on a situation. Um, that it does look like on one level or another. There there was security or emotional attachment that was there. Um, so there's a lot of healing that's around that. And it does look like it's something that's kind of like slow to pro progress. Because with the Hermit and the Ten of Swords, the Hermit's good energy. You know, it's about introspection and reflection. And with that, it's just really important to be 100% honest with yourself. But it, does, it looks like there's a, a chapter that, you know, you're, you're closing. And it may not be that easy to just close it. Because especially, even if this is around work or deals with like another person there could be some anger or you know some argument some resentment that's still kind of there lingering yeah i don't think somebody's just gonna let this go because the feelings are still there but there's and you, you also have a tower moment that's coming and it's almost like a really long drawn out ending but there will be a lot of emotional healing that's here and um, kind of moving on. For some, you could even be moving in general. You go from the Four of Swords to the Six of Swords when the, the obstacle here is the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. You know, this can be a lying energy. This can be somebody who argues, creates drama or what's even out for self. But again, sometimes this can be on a, a self level for a lot of different reasons. And it's a general reading, so there could seriously be like 10 different reasons out of this energy, but it does look like there's a chapter that you're closing and not only closing it, you're moving on. All right, Libra, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.